Hey everybody, welcome to the next playthrough. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Uh, it's Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud 1, actually. <laughs> you seem a little rusty on your intro, Doug. I know, it has been a while. <laughs> next time, what made you, uh, What made you choose Dark Cloud for the next game? Uh, I was thinking about what to do next, and I was like, Meh. I uh, did actually want to try out this uh, uh, capture device that I actually got a while ago and never really used. I guess I used it for Castlevania. But I never really, like... Maybe I should turn something more. I know why. <laughs> why I expect it. But uh, I never actually, like, used it for anything, like, too complicated. So I wanted to go ahead and give this a try right now. See how it works. Anyway. It's all spoilers for other stuff, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so, I guess... I don't know if you want to explain our history of Dark Cloud, or I can explain it. You can go ahead and explain it. <laughs> so, a long, long time ago, when I was a young lad, I had a Dark Cloud 2, which, I don't know, I feel like I probably bought it based off of, like, the like trailer on TV like alone because I had no reason to <laughs> like want to buy it <laughs> um, but I played it a very long time ago Dark Cloud 2 and F was even younger than I was <laughs> and he, he watched, watched me play the whole game and uh, for a long time it was like one of my favorite games and then he went through and played the whole series a while back, and yeah, I actually I played. Now we're, uh, I've actually never played Dark Cloud one. Yeah, that's another so. thing. I, I also I also <laughs> wanted also want David to see the like the original one if he wanted to. It is available on PS4, which is how we're playing it right now. But uh, probably PS2 for probably costs like a hundred dollars or something. <laughs> All the prices on PS2 are inflated. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, get started. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story... Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... We decide the name. His name is Toen, so we're going to go ahead and go with that. You mean you don't want to name him Beast? <laughs> no, not any other Beast. <laughs> In uh, Persona 5, I named our squad the Beast. Well, I guess, we, I, I, guess we, I guess we could change his name, but then we had to decide, I'm going to tell you right now, we had to decide a few other names as well. So if, you, if you're feeling creative... <laughs> I think he made his name every single Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <It's> fool's gold. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We'll, 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 we'll make it a bit more creative than that, I guess. His name will be Beast, sure. <laughs> you don't have to make a trolley name just because I find that name humorous. <laughs> That's nah, fine. I mean, you know, if it was me, it'd be all caps. That is true. It would be all caps. But it'd also look weird in text. So I don't like doing that. <laughs> there it is. I say, you're really struggling to find the T, man. I, <laughs> dude, it's always a mess. Order. It's, 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 it's always like a mess with the medical order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have one to go to the court. It's close to the QWERTY spot, too. Oh, did you put it in QWERTY? No, I, it was just uh -oh. medical mode. Anyway, Dark Shrine. So, is this related to Dark Cloud 2 in any sense? Some species are in this game. So there's like a shared universe, but nothing plot-wise. No, nothing plot-wise. Huh. Gameplay-wise, it's pretty much the same. But we'll get to that later. Oh, I always thought the gameplay was like a bit different. It's a little different, but it's, it's for the most part the same. You've 
gathered quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dentures with the right qualifications. Look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of witches that humans with that humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems. In order to procure good material, you do need adequate. I see, I'll pay you extra. That's a solve your problem, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we got some live action voice action. So, what will happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony until this time. Yeah. It's different than uh, Fool's Gold. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird because this game doesn't have voice acting, but has way more animated cutscenes than Dark Cloud 2 does. Which you probably don't remember, but I, I don't know why one has one and then not the other. Yeah, I, uh. I have not. I mean, I, I haven't played Dark Cloud 2 in, like, in 20 years. Like, almost, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy to think about. I was like, the game was like so mature for me when I was playing it. I like, I don't think I ever like really appreciate. It, which is, it's funny because it seemed like you really appreciate it. <laughs> well, I, I, it, it made me really like roguelikes for sure. By the way, yeah, this game is roguelike, but you'll see how later. I like the idea of like a playthrough of a game that could be completely different the second time you play through it. Flag, sir. Do you know the legend of the dark genie sealed in the air? Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have no idea what's going on. Forty years ago, the Genie of Darkness appeared in the East with its evil power, and the world was burned away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. Got a real snaws. <laughs> also, I think it's uh, like this weird military. It's like this crazy military dude is like using an ancient ritual to summon a giant genie. <laughs> yes, it's bizarre. Already. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a habit when we play story-driven games like Final Fantasy XIV that I pay no attention to the story and I just ask Death to. So now is the time. Yes, sir. So it seems. Explain it to me in his own terms, because of my attention span is so bad now that I literally can't comprehend a simple story. Fourteen is anything but simple, though. Big mouth. Well, <laughs> this is the genie, the dark genie. Well, it is quite different than I imagined. I think I looked angry there. That mouth. <laughs> what that mouth do? The ancient dark genie. Is this it? Hey, who are you guys? <laughs> Welcome back, genie of darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. I like that moon log. <laughs> oh, is that right? Whatever. Fine. Yes, that's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. Sorry, I had to eat something. I need food. Food. Uh-oh. Uh Got you. Huh? Man. It eats humans? It eats humans? Stop it. Help! That's what that mouth did. Jeez. Got a snake jaw. I mean, we saw that. Who is the, uh, mm, delicious developer? Level five. They make Professor Layton games these days, and, and Yokai Watch games. They make what in Yokai Watch? Professor Layton. Does like a have puzzle you played? game on the DS. I've not played Professor Layton. I played it. I played, played all of the Yokai Watch games, pretty much that game to the states. Is it good? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's like a, it's like an oh, auto, it's like an auto battle Pokemon game. I recognize, I recognize that moon. Yep. Hi, how are you today? I want to give you more voices, but Beast, it's already started. Come on, let's go. That one was auto playing, so I didn't want to slow it down. 
beast. It's already started. Come on, let's go. See, I told you, you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. <laughs> oh, she left you. Beast, hurry up. So I actually don't know if I would name the main character Beast at this stage. Well, you, you I'd said probably, it. <laughs> uh, I'd probably name the main character Young. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we'll, worry. we'll get a Young in there, I'm sure. Huh? It's like I had a bit of a festival today. Oh, they're doing the same dance. I don't think it's the exact same dance. <laughs> you think they're all trying to summon a genie? Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty sure. Do we, do we need the editor to already come in and verify what I'm saying? <laughs> we can check both dances. <laughs> <laughs> that dude needs to work on his steps, though. I've already given the editor enough work by uh, doxing you in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a very complicated thing to fix. <laughs> I, mean, I, I did repeat the sentence, so you can probably get a pretty clean or not you, but the editor get a pretty clean edit. <laughs> if the editor chose. What the heck? I guess I can say this vessel is going to be a blast, am I right? <laughs> I that, thing looks like, that, that, thing, that thing does look like. Look at the insert scoring about. Start there. <laughs> has belly button based power. This is going off. <laughs> he's got all this, he's got all the fire skills, dude. Just they're just nuking random villages. Dude, he is. What is B supposed to do? <laughs> Help her? It's, just, it's like a six-year-old boy. He's he's gonna get killed along with her. Oh look, he is dead. <laughs> oh, you gotta, you gotta love when the assumed main character dies in the first five minutes of gameplay. Yeah, we ain't doing everything. Just shame they didn't matter so much. Like, just like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up! Hey! Hmm? Uh. <laughs> I am the Fairy King. I am the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. You die. <laughs> Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This dark genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it can destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. What the heck? Including yeah, we, you. We, yeah, we just saw it. <laughs> it must be the men from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its Racist. dark demon power for war without it realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence it, is that it great. Almost destroyed it again. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> the bad thing is that the same type of magical power as us spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that can stand the uh, evil power. Oh, so this little six-year-old is powerful <laughs> to destroy. <laughs> and also a clear, kind heart. You might feel the fight against the darkness it generates. I decided to stake our fate with you. Good idea. Let me bless you with power. <laughs> I was watching a video today talking about the warrior of light syndrome and like 
video games. I mean, it's a pretty easy uh, way to make an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> there, surprised? That's called Atlamelia. It's a stone with a magical power. Familiar isn't that in, uh, yeah, isn't that in Dark Cloud 2? It is. They have the same thing, right? Yep. Oh, don't look at it that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Classic 2000s uh, RPG, like, 45 minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart, as you, as long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different parts around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed the Atla, using that Atlamelia, and bring it back. Then, you will be able to destroy the world to its original form. You may be able to create an even better world than before. This mechanic was in Dark Cloud 2. Yep. In a different way. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh, I well. do not. I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. So long. Oh, wait. Do we have a silent protagonist? We do. Max wasn't silent. He definitely was not. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is light! Yay, our village is destroyed! Let's go back and fix it! <laughs> <laughs> I guess the is not destroyed. Beast, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, the voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of the earth. They're all calling for your help. Beast, you'll probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In, taking, in talking to these people, you may receive clues to the being the darkness. Look for them. Now, Beast, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village sheep's house. He'll tell you where to go next. So you had to, like, have relationships with, like, different people. And then they, they gave you, like, buffs and stuff, right? Yep. So here we are. In our empty village. You saw an edit mode down there, but we'll get to that later. It's a clock at the top right. You just uh, move around normally. You can also control the camera. The camera's a bit uh, slow in this game, actually. I think the camera was pretty fast. He does. The only reason why he's jerking around is because my controller is bad, but... <laughs> oh my god. This is your PlayStation controller? Yeah. Your PlayStation controller is bad, your Switch controller is bad. Yeah, you know what it is. All our, all our controllers is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we already know that you're cursed when it comes to electronics. It's true. Ah, Beast, you are alive! Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this had happened. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this beast? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed <laughs> to do now? The mayor of the village. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mayor to an empty village? It's usually like a chief or something like that. I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of the room village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure, if Dran's not dead as well. I have a favor to ask Beast. <laughs> Go to the Divine Beast King and tell Dran what <laughs> I happens. I have a favor to ask, comma, Beast. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. <laughs> Divine Beast Cave oh, is the oh, cave the outside, outside towards the right-hand side. Maybe we were named after the cave. You've seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. The key to a cave? Yes, we got the cave key. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. It's actually a crime they ever made at Dark Cloud 3. You think they'll ever make one one day? Ah, I don't think they will. They seem they pretty... They the yokai or whatever. Yeah. They seem pretty into that. Also, is, I, is, they... that a, is that a running series, the yokai? Yeah. Yeah, they have... Three main games. I think they also have a fourth one on Switch, but it never came to America. Uh, there are a couple of spin-offs as well. I think there's even a mobile game for it. A Dark Cloud. No. Okay, watch. That's what we're talking about. Uh -oh. There's definitely there's definitely anime for it. <laughs> now our only hope is Dran. Dran has always watched over us. I'm sure Dran has watched us this time too, and will help us. 
But really, this time even Dran's windmill where Dran's magic power dwells is destroyed. Dang. But that's a hint that we need to actually repair the windmill for Dran to help us. I don't think there's really anything to interact with in here, so let's head out. So are the Yokai watch games in the same like style and gameplay as Dark Cloud, or are they just entirely different games? It's it's basically a so to, to explain what Yokai watch is. Also, this is like inverted. I'm pretty sure I can't change it either. Just, yeah. Oh. Uh, he's gonna start. Oh, there is. Also, yeah. Here we are at that. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is no way to change it. Nope. All right. Wow, there we go. <laughs> well, we'll explain what that is later, but the entrance of the cave is over here. Also, one moment. That will be cut out. But, <laughs> yeah, I have to go ahead and fix the stick, so we're just going to do that. Oh, this is why there's a key to the cave. A big keyhole. Use item with square. So, whenever you get to, like, these things, you have to uh, get close to them. Whenever you see an exclamation point, that means you can interact with them in some way. Usually, you just have to use a key item on them. You can either do it before talking to them, or you can talk to them and they'll actually let you do it. Just be sure... Yeah, okay, you can do it this way, too. I wasn't sure that was the only thing in two or nine. Oh, by the way, I should just also show, like, some of the things that we have here. Uh, the menu looks exactly the same as Dark Cloud. Yeah. Too. So we have a separate three active items. We can put this stuff in here. I'll just put the bread in here, though it's not too important. We have our key item here. We have an antidote drink, which reduces, which moves poison. We have repair powder, which stores the WHP of weapons. I'll explain that in a second. And escape powder which allows you to escape from a dungeon. So here we are in a fence. We have Beast. You can drag an item here to be used to use on a character. We have Health, WHP, and Thirst, which I'll explain later. We have, we have our weapon here, Dagger, which we can't change. We don't use wrenches. No, we don't use wrenches. We use swords in this game. <laughs> you can have a giant salmon. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, here's a weapon. Really easy to use the full weapon. So that, that, was, that was an Easter egg from the first game. I wouldn't call it an Easter egg. I think it's just a joke. They like to run. A running gag. Yeah. I'll also put the water in here. Uh, so here are a weapon. Yeah, the dagger. So I can go and explain like all this like right now, I guess. But I think I'll hop into the dungeon to actually get into that. Let's go ahead and unlock the cave using the cave key. Enter the Divine Beast Cave. Divine Beast Cave. <laughs> yeah, B1. So what you're looking at here is basically the dungeon menu. I believe... Right, so you, so the first part you hear, you have the floor. The second part with, like, the orange and green things, those are the number of Atla that you had to collect. So there's eight in this dungeon. Or there's eight in this floor. And I believe the last thing at the end is how many monsters you have killed. So let's I just hop in. And start a cutscene. <laughs> it's for real this time, Beast. From here on, you'll be put to the true test. First, conquer this wretched Divine Beast cave and find Vran's lair. That is your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key for the, flo for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divine Beast Cave, Dran's Crest will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. I think it's always carried by a monster in the dungeon. <laughs> you must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to kill them all one by one. Sorry, defeat. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Next, I'll tell you how to return to the ground level rather than advance to the floor below. To return to the ground level, mind uh -huh. connects with me. In other words, speak with your mind. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Yeah, but <laughs> he's silent to everyone except <laughs> he can't. He can not He can think what he wants everyone to know. Okay. <laughs> just like leave dungeon for the main menu. Basically, he's just saying just leave. You want to leave the dungeon? Just like leave dungeon. Yeah, you have to think. Leave dungeon. You can't speak. But be aware, if there are monsters left on the floor, then mind connect won't work. They'll be blocked by their evil energies. 
I'll be this explain it quick, quick moving or whatever, <laughs> quick traveling. I do. I mean, it's kind of cool that I actually do have a reason for why all that works. In such cases, I mean, it's not a reason. <laughs> he's, just, he's just thinking the dude teleports you instead. Well, yeah, he's, he's connected to you. In such cases, use the item escape pattern to get out on your own. The Dorun Village Chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter that dungeon, you can start at the next level, new level so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, it's on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable. Yes, they are breakable. <laughs> That's what WHP means. The more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear, which is a difference from the second game, as you might or may not remember. Yeah, you have to, like, fix them, right? Yeah. You have to use repair powder. Yeah, so you can use repair powder in this game, but if you don't use repair powder by the time your WHP runs out, you lose the weapon forever. Yes, you lose it forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Uh, that is not classic, because that's not how it works in the second game. <laughs> classic. Right, and here's the special thing. The longer you use a weapon, the longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters, and thus becomes stronger. Oh, it is said experience. that a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the daiquiri have on you, so it'll never disappear. Give you up the other weapons too. <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> but all the new weapons you get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. It's like, dog, just mind connect and fix them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your hard work by letting weapon break and disappear. All that hard work. Finally, the important stuff. The sphere, Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of, at of an Atla into Atla Melia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson read a little long. That's it for the lecture today. Now, Beast, show me your true ability on this quest. Alright. It's go time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just dumbfounded. So you can already hear I mean here. There is in there actually. A uh, boar, I believe. Trying to actually lock onto him out of our Whoa, that thing's hunting you. He is. I have to all the buttons too. So that'd be cool. Like, there we go. The camera's so fast. It is. There we go. So you lock on with circle. And you should have a block there. There we go. You press R1 to block. You spend a lot of time blocking these guys. Yeah. So blocking, like, basically prevents all damage except for a select few attacks. Also, a difference between this game is that uh, this is that uh, Beast only has one weapon, and he'll also only ever have one weapon. You don't have magic. No, we don't have magic. So we're gonna go ahead and get close to him. So the crazy thing about this game is, uh, yeah, they got a flinch. <laughs> Gotta get get close. Then once you basically once you end up getting the attack off. On, on a monster, you can basically flip lock them to death. However, you, know, you can't you can't repeatedly attack either because of that meter on the bottom left, which basically determines how long your combos will be. Yeah. Yeah, poison by a bad. Uh, I think you poison by a bad. Yo ho, yo ho, what's going on? Yeah, work on your. Uh, it's been a while since we did our Kingdom Hearts run through. Yeah, it's true. Your guard skills are pretty trash right now. So you can also you can press square to automatically uh, use a weapon in your first slot. We're doing a pretty good start for sure. <laughs> one bread, one antidote. Yep. The map looks exactly the same as Dark Cloud 2. What was it? What was the time period between the games coming out? I want to say it was like a couple of years. Anyway, so here we have our first Atla. Ah, I was wondering what that was. You got sisters. trees. Oh. So we're gonna basically be collecting parts in order to actually repair the village. It's two allies. They are randomly are they ran yeah, they're randomly generated. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it's actually actually going to spin that part too as well. Uh, the so these dungeons are randomly generated. They are not. You want to explain how them. you use how you use the bread when there's a healing fountain right there? Well, I forgot the healing. I didn't know the healing fountain. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I so you the, explain that to the Alice. <laughs> so the game has a so the game has a bunch of features in the in the in the dungeons to make it easier to traverse. First of all, we have these springs right here. The first time you step into them, they will fully heal you. Any other time you step into them, they restore your thirst. So there you go. What is it? The thirst meter? Is it that three little? Yeah, the, the thirst meter is the yeah the thirst meter is the three water droplets on the top right. If you run out of if you run out of if, you, if, your, if your thirst runs out, then you start losing health, and I think you deal less damage as well. Is that just a mechanic to make you go through the dungeons faster? Yeah. Also, we just, also we just got a dungeon key. Not the not the not the key to escape the dungeon, just a key for a door in the dungeon. If you ever see a door, you'll always be able to get the key before the door. I can hear it dash right outside this wall. So there's a bone shaped keyhole. So let's go ahead and okay, so you actually can't do that in the menu. Good to know. There's the dash right. Twin. The thing with uh Dark Cloud 1 though is that like enemies are way faster in this game. <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> also, you can, also guarding is like not as broken as it usually is. Where you can so like oh there you go, transgress there you go. So I can't attack from guard like you can in Dark Cloud 2. Mm. That's why I'm like struggling so much because I have to actually let go of guard and then actually attack. So we're gonna try it. Ah. Oops. I hit the Let's try and get the skeletal soldier against the wall. Although this one doesn't run away like the dash or anything. I see this goes so hard. I know. Honestly, it might be better to just, uh, like, I'll beat him. Like that. That worked pretty well. Yeah. I, th I think it's pretty cool that this game, I'm not sure that's intentional or not. You kind of have to figure out how to, like, navigate around an enemy's, like, a t uh, movement pattern and how they attack. In order to, you know, actually not get yourself killed. Which is not only something you have in Dark Cloud 2, because in Dark Cloud 2, 2, 2 you're, like, insanely overpowered. You gotta wait for your opportunity. Be like a uh, level complete song from Dark Cloud 2 is like branded in my brain. Anyway, we just got bomb Thanks, Vita. That is an attack item, which I guess I'm going to show. Yeah, hitting an enemy with it, make it explode and cause damage. Good, uh, you know, translation. <laughs> Is Sveta in this Sveta in this game? Sveta's not in this game, he's got a lamp. Also here we have something very interesting and unique to this game. There is a tram with a rusty right. wheels. Use the item with square. That is not the escape. That is actually a that is actually a path to the back route of the dungeon floor. I'll explain how that works if we, you know, find the key to get it, because you don't always get it. So it's gonna get the dasher against the wall. At least try to. Here's also a bat behind us. There we go. So hitting him into walls just flinches him? No, uh, I, I remember running into walls so he can't run away from me. Okay, because it's a distance. Did I get the bat there? Whoops. There we go. Wait for it. Dang, our weapon's about to die already. Yeah, that beeping sound is from the weapon. <laughs> There's a map. That'll be very helpful. Now I can see the entire floor. Let's grab this atla and get a river. I'll grab this treasure box. I would prefer they uh, are soon to introduce mimics. And we get a fire element crystal. So I'll explain how elements work later. <laughs> Once again, anyway, more out. As I remember, they uh, you needed a certain number of them to upgrade your weapon. Yeah, you ever get a road? Also, I apologize for the camera. I can't slow it down. <laughs> 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 we get Macho. So Macho is actually like a person, I believe. Because uh, everybody. That was a state of being. 
yeah, everybody was uh, there. Yeah, need water and everyone, there, to everyone there was pretty macho. <laughs> yeah, so he's got a warning that our thirst is running out. Controller decides to uh, screw up now. That's cool. I really need to get a new controller, but it's like it's a PS4, so I was like, I've had this for years, and I know how, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it. That's where I'm, I'm like, my PS4 controller has like so much crap in it, like dirt and stuff. I'm like, should I upgrade it? Or, uh, should I get another one? I'm like, it's a PS4. Oh yeah, and like, here's I don't the... know if I could, if I can justify spending like 80 bucks on a PS4 controller. Yeah, that's why I'm on the same boat. Yeah, here's <laughs> the uh, exit. We're gonna beat all the enemies first, though. We're gonna need to play Svita. So you have two dashers, this actually might be a problem. And a bat. Unfortunately, like, I don't. Uh, we did uh, not. Uh, oh, actually, we do. Okay. I thought we didn't have this yet. Oh, you have a power attack. Yeah. So you can use a power attack, but it's not like. It's not a spinner one. AoE? Yeah. One thing at a time, guys. Yeah, I was reflecting on uh, just how good Dark Cloud 2 is. Every now and then it just strikes me. We were, we were gonna co play it. And we never got around to it, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you actually pick it up? I forgot. I'm pretty sure I did. That's in my PS4 library. Dagger has reached its limits. Dagger's ABS fully jump upgraded. Oh, I'm not too concerned about the Dagger's HP right now because it can't break. It can't die. <laughs> yeah. That thing's hunting you, though. Oh, well, I tried to guard that, but it didn't work. There we go. Clearly. Oh, I'm so bad at still coming over here. Now you're broken. So it has a spirit. Thank you, repair, repair powder. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. You guys can see it being broken. So, when you're... So when your main weapon breaks, it'll just turn into a broken dagger. And you can't, and you just deal one damage with your people. Also, you can see the attack power of the weapon right there. Apparently, uh, monsters don't have defense, because that's the damage I'm just currently dealing. They just have HP. Excellent. <laughs> that works pretty well. Are also, you, uh, so you're, are you, you're invincible during your power attack, clearly. Yeah, I, I I wasn't sure if that was the case in this game or not, so I was being really careful about it. But it appears to be the case. Gotcha. Oh, by the way, you did the power attack by holding the X button. Also, you attack by using the X button. I never even said that. <laughs> so, uh, I believe soap uh, removes the sticky status effect, which slows you down. Yeah, this is from gooey conditions, I guess. From gooey conditions? <laughs> the sticky situations. Alright, oh, we're gonna head up the hall over here. As my controller still freaks out. I can hear another dasher coming. We're just gonna ignore that though, this. So here's the magic crystal. How the magic is gonna tell you? Yeah, how the magic crystal works is that it reveals all enemies, treasure chests, and items on the floor. So it's basically like Zelda's compass. Ah, dang. That was a cool stuff for that one. Destroyed. Oh, God. Yeah. I think my lock fell off when I got hit. Oh, comes a thirsty again. You like being thirsty? It will happen a lot in this game, I can tell you that much. Luckily, there's a spring right over here. Which I think will also heal. Yeah, it does. Anyway, I think it's still, yeah, it's the last enemy on the floor. You still get thirsty after all the enemies are dead. Yes, you do. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> I'm so glad mechanics like that have not persisted into the modern era. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes they do. I know they still have, like, some sort of, like, speeder upper type mechanics, but... Anyway, we killed every enemy on this floor. We also got a fence. I'm sorry, there is no, uh, L heavy clear stuff. <laughs> the only thing... Here's Watcho's house, by the way. The only thing that defeating all the enemies allows you to do is, well... 
it allows you to escape. <laughs> you don't you don't need to kill all of them? No. Well, I mean, you need to kill enough to at least get the key to escape. Well, I mean, to right. continue. But we got it on the first enemy, right? No, we got it on, like, the fourth enemy. Uh oh. <laughs> you don't want to take the cart? You can't take the cart. You don't have the key for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot you need a key for that rusty mine cart. Yep. So anyway, we're gonna use Dran's crest. The key to the gate made by Dran to protect his own nest. <laughs> and with this, we can now continue onward. You wanna wrap up? Yeah, we're about to wrap up. So let's leave the dungeon temporarily. I'm glad you thought that, so you could mine connect and then leave. <laughs> like, I don't know if I would've been able to, like, deal with not knowing how it happened. Anyway, here's another cutscene. <laughs> uh? I mean, you can do beast sounds if you want. <laughs> I don't know how many he makes, though. <laughs> Seems you finally came back with some Atla. Very well, then. I shall teach you as I promised. The pieces sealed inside Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of Atla Melee resides. Buildings and people that were sucked into the Atla Melee will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the Earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of Atlamelia. Now, let us move on. This may get a bit technical. If you wanted to place buildings, etc., place the select button while walking and go to edit mode. So basically, he's going to tell you how to place stuff down. And you can press select again to go into walking mode. I believe in this game it's faster to move through the edit mode. So yeah, you can in edit mode you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. Mostly faster than listening to my lecture, indeed. He agrees. That was gonna be a, a nine-minute long cutscene. Oh yes, if you ever forget the things I if you the things I teach, you use this. The start menu. <laughs> Manual. Here's a book. Learn to read. It is a guide for using Atlamelia and other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. For everyone who needs to use this sacred item. <laughs> like, yeah, for beginners. <laughs> the manual gives like for the main menu. Read it very carefully. Okay, I'll leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. <laughs> so long. What did you do, bro? <laughs> He's not powerful enough to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot the six-year-old is. <laughs> All right, so next time we will... Properly begin restoring Norun Village, and then can explore the Divine Beast Cave some more. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Later.